again, I'll support this. That's where it's in. So I think along the same lines, the the, um, the ten year period starts from the date of the building permit issuance. Reminding building permits expire after how long? Yeah, there's a, there's a time limit on that. Okay. Uh, so in other words, you couldn't issue a building permit, have ten years, and wait ten years to actually build things, and then have the have the the ten year limitation expire just as you start building. No, you have to renew your building permits. They're not open anymore. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Any further? All in favor? Motion's carried. Councilor, uh, Your Worship, this is an application in Glen Eden at 40505 Street. Northwest, and the purpose is to rezone an apartment subject property from CD3 comprehensive development zone to A3 small building zone, essentially the, the change in rezoning is to facilitate a lot line adjustment, which would allow for uh, future subdivision of the A3 property that the east of the two five acre parcels. Reasonable. Uh, they, comment, they said to thank letter in regards to our capital infrastructure that helped them to achieve, and uh, following our UBC. <coughs> That's by the Premier, who says that this will be available in four green initiatives and green projects. I think that any future grants that we or any, any future capital monies that we give to the Roots and Blues Festival, we should try and do new projects and apply them to uh, if, if they do capital infrastructure movements like lighting or anything like that for that property. We should we should try and access green money for that and do sustainable development so we can uh, we can get those funded those capital improvements funded by the provincial government. Let's see a letter. Thank you. Oh, there is that. I remember on the 1038, we summarized on the date of the British Columbia Climate Action Charter. Are we going to have a other formal discussion around the Climate Action Charter, or uh, is this the time for that? I think this could uh, take some time, and it might be appropriate to put it that on our agenda as an agenda item. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to see that. And um, as well, I believe you all received an email that relates to one of my other items, but just to say, uh, I think it's item 37 that relates the funding for, is it item 37? Oh, yes. Okay, thank you. So then that is coming up, uh, my addition to the agenda will be in relation to what's covered in item 37 about uh, new funding available through the provincial government and the UBCM, and that's in relation to uh, food action. Mayor Smith. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I, want, I want to comment on, on number two, the board member for the month of September. Um, and again, the trend continues um, at the end of September. Um, the building part is uh, has gone through the P1 million dollars worth of total building permits compared to 36 million last year. And it's virtually up in, in every every category. Um, single family, 118 single family loans started this year compared to year. Um, and if you go down to all types of housing, there's been an increase in building permit values. I, I did have one question. On, on number 12, it's miscellaneous additions to the institutional. There's, there's obviously one large one there, and I couldn't figure out what it would be. Yeah, there's actually two. One, about five million of that is the uh, water treatment plant. Oh. And million is the uh, hospital renovations in phase one. Okay, that's the one I think of. Okay, thank you. It just uh, goes to the planning department. I know that uh, they've been working hard and certainly um, going through lots of permits and lots of value. So thank you very much. Um, thank you for coming to mention doing August and September will be even better, so um, I too want to commend staff. And I wanted to also speak to 7D, even though Council Weissel already has. Um, I think that letter made it very clear how helpful and uh, efficient and effective our, our uh, staff was in working with the Roots and Blues, and I think um, the Public Works people should be commended, and uh, I'm not sure that letter has been shared with them, but. Uh, I think they should be commended for the work that they did because it was quite apparent that they worked very closely and really helped out uh, the Roots and Blues. Um, 
the other item that I had that I wanted to speak to was items four and five. Your Worship, thank you for writing those letters confirming our concerns in our meetings with uh, both uh, Honorable Kevin Falcon and uh, John Lass at UBCM. Um, I think the more we keep those issues in front of those people, the better chance we have of getting anywhere. But uh, I appreciate your letters. I'm not sure that the meetings uh, will bear immediate fruit, but hopefully if we keep at it, we will get the end result that we, we desire. So thank you for writing those letters. I think it's important to keep those issues in front of the uh, MLAs. So. And then the last one I wanted to speak to was just with regards to uh, both the uh, Tilma agreement and also with regards to um, the, uh, the provincial pilot project for single business license framework. I think it's good news on the uh, social issues committee. Um, there is item 33, Social Planning and Research Council of British Columbia sent a letter regarding the community social planning network and the social issues survey. Uh, I think the purpose will have relevance now that I've got the chance to review it again uh, for, um, for the social issues committee. And as they uh, outlined, there was a UBC, UBCM resolution uh, in relation to social planning and communities. And as well, it talks in the correspondence of uh, the community social planning network having a provincial meeting in the springtime. So certainly uh, put that on a future agenda uh, if I have a chance to look into our participation in this provincial network, considering uh, the concerns they outlined are ones that are both a concern of uh, the committee as well as the community as a whole. Uh, many of them are ones that we've had discussions recently. So I think uh, I may be bringing uh, the social the community social planning network province wide uh, back to uh, council. And I just thought that it's worth noting. That. Yeah, just to get back to numbers one and two, the building department stats. So we've, uh, we've been increasing them. We're about $50 million over what we were last year, both in August and September. Uh, listening to the radio today, the stats are in from across the Okanagan Valley, and the only place that numbers were up for Kelowna, and that was thanks to a couple of multi family uh, projects, I guess. Uh, Amlitz is down, Penticton is down, all the way through the valley is down. So this year, budget considerations, I think, that is fully not the touch and that we can't overestimate the, uh, the, the growth next year after years and years back in growth in Santa Barbara. That's it. The disruption of the so I said the council rejected the tender dated August 2007 from April 8th, and the amount of $418,594, including BST. Thank you. Engineering. Thank you, Your Worship, members of council. This is a project to expand laboratory facilities at the Water Pollution Control Center as well as some office space off to the east side of the building. And it was felt that um, the project should proceed um, in 2008, uh, utilizing in-house staff to uh, project manage, to cost save, as well as uh, having public work staff uh, do the construction of the shell and then um, having contractors complete the facility. Uh, this will uh, allow us to manage the project uh, and make sure it comes in within budget. Um, so at this time, recommending that uh, Council be gender um, for Maple Rinders for the amount of $418,593, including GST. Council. Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, first of all, I do support the recommendation and appreciate it. Um, not to say it's a really important project. I think Tom's talked about it now for a career just on the staff that works there. So I certainly do want to get um, and agree with the recommendation to do in house. I was quite surprised at the tenant amount that came through. So looking at an alternative that will make it happen um, more affordable is appreciated. So I really support the recommendation. Any further? All in favor? Opposed? Ms. Kerry. So we have item four, industrial park, storm, sewer, and that's what I'm Okay. Or at least remind me. Yes, Your Worship. Thank you. Um, it was brought to my attention by, you know, 